So <laughs> I'm gonna, if I were to grade um, the effort of large tech companies in um, uh, making ethical AI, let's say, uh, I would I would grade them as an F or or failed because uh, we don't have to go much further. We can just see how they reacted to my highly non controversial paper. I, I want to reiterate that that fact that my paper was very much not controversial. Um, my my co authors are all experts, the foremost experts in the field, and that's why I wanted to write this paper with them. We talked about the dangers posed by large language models. And really, what we said was not much new stuff. But you see how first, you know, they wanted me to retract the paper, then they fired me and they wanted to say that I resigned. And so if they reacted like that to such a non what I would have considered to be a non-controversial paper, you can imagine um, how they would react to something uh, more controversial. And what I've noticed basically, and what many others before me, many, uh, um, especially um, critical thinkers in this space, like in the US we have, you know, Ruha Benjamin and Safiya Noble, is that tech companies want you to believe that this has nothing to do with the centralization of power, uh, that this has nothing to do with the fact that there is no worker protection, no unionization, no safety nets for workers, no, um, so that we are all afraid to say anything. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with the fact that tech companies have so much power. They spend more money in lobbying than the fossil fuel industry, the oil and gas industry, all of them, all of these industries combined. So what they want us to believe is that this issue of, of ethical AI or fairness, et cetera, is merely a technical issue uh, that is to be, um, you know, worked on by, by with them, by them, right? And that, that they can be uh, partners in developing this regulation, um, that it has nothing to do with antitrust measures, that it has nothing to do with some of these other things that they're very afraid of. Um, so for me, they're definitely failing and what they're doing is co-opting the language and the research uh, to, to argue against regulation. I mean, it's really funny. For example, after I got fired, um, there, were an, a, there was a letter from legislators in the U.S. that was sent to Google and a number of them. One was about uh, my, uh, the large language models. Another one was about um, th their treatment of, of black people and having a racial audit and uh, equity audit. And, and both of the times, they would write back with a, a list of, you know, how many researchers they had in responsible AI and how many papers they have published in this space, you know. And so they're using it actually um, as a defense against the one thing that will really, really make a difference, which is appropriately regulating and curbing the power of these large tech companies and their impact on the entire world.